Hello friends, today we are going to learn about types of supports and its reactions. For the calculation of simply supported beam, cantilever beam, continuous beam, overhang beam and different types of indeterminate beam, we have total three types of supports which are Three types of supports are fix, hinge and roller and indication of fix support is hinge support as and roller support or it can be drawn as. Now first of all what is the meaning of reaction? So reaction must be defined from the Newton's third law which states that action and reactions are equal and opposite in the nature. Now when beam is loaded due to the support some reactions are exerted at the location of support for the fixed support. There are total three numbers of reactions which are vertical, horizontal and moment which can be indicated by vertical reaction at A, horizontal reaction at A and moment at A. It means at the location of support. Now how these reactions are come? So fixed support resist horizontal and vertical movement of the beam as well as it's also restrict rotation at support. Now whenever the resistance is provided due to that resistance reactions will exert at that location. So fixed support resists the horizontal and vertical movement of the beam. It means that we have vertical reaction as well as the horizontal reaction and it restricts rotation of the support. It means that it gives the rotation. It means as a moment, as a reaction. Now for the hinge support, if we consider the restriction, so hinge support is restricted vertical as well as horizontal movement but it frees the rotation it means that support may rotate at its location but cannot move in horizontal as well as the vertical direction it indicates that for hinge support there will be a two reaction one is vertical reaction and second one is horizontal reaction but moment is free at hinge support it means that there isn't any reaction as a moment as it is in the fixed support now for roller support if we consider restriction then roller support restrict only perpendicular movement of support location. It means that if our roller support is in the horizontal direction then we have only reaction as VA and horizontal reaction as well as the moment is free at roller support. Similarly for the second indication we have only vertical reaction but as per the restriction Roller support restrict only perpendicular movement. It means that if we have provided the inclined beam at any angle, for example at angle theta, then according to the restriction, we will have perpendicular reaction VA which makes angle with vertical direction similar to the angle of inclination theta angle with vertical axis or we can say that if roller support is provided at the column 
then for the restriction rule it restrict the perpendicular movement it means that for our column the perpendicular reaction is as h so thus three types of support which is going to be used in the types of beam which are fix hinge and roller in which at fix support there are three reaction one is vertical one is horizontal and third one is moment while in the hinge support only two reactions are there which is vertical as well as the horizontal reaction and for the roller only perpendicular reaction is exerted and it is always perpendicular to our beam or, or our column now going ahead for the types of beam according to the support condition so first beam is simply supported beam and simply supported beam is defined as the beam having the end support as hinge and roller if for the beam having the end support as hinge as well as roller it is defined as simply supported beam now next beam is overhang beam which can be defined as one type of simply supported beam but support having span length beyond its location now it indicates that if we have simply supported beam but we have a span length beyond its location it means that if we have this span beyond this support or we can say that at the end it is not supported by any support then these types of beam is known as overhang beam but for only one side of overhang this beam is known as overhang single side beam now if for the both side overhang is provided then it is known as the both sided overhang beam so for overhang beam there are two types of beam one is single side and second one is double side now for third types of beam which is known as continuous beam and continuous beam is defined as the beam having the more than two span or more than three supports it means that if the beam is given if numbers of span as more than two span or we can say that more than three supports are provided then beam is known as continuous beam now fourth types of beam is cantilever beam which is defined as the beam having one end as fixed support and other end as free then that type of beam is known as cantilever beam as shown in the figure now for subdivision of cantilever beam as propped cantilever beam in which our beam is supported by and support as a roller it means that one end is supported by fixed support while other support is roller then this type of cantilever beam is known as propped cantilever beam and the fifth beam is fixed beam and fixed beam is defined as the beam having both the ends 
are fixed. It means that if our beam having the end support as a fixed support is defined as the fixed beam. So according to the support condition, there are total five numbers of beam which are simply supported, overhang beam, continuous beam, cantilever in which subdivision is prop cantilever and last one is fixed beam. Thank you.